Welcome back to Better Living. I'm Stephanie Martinez in for Charity Freeman. Today, well, joining us right now, we have David Seeger with us from the Great Lakes Credit Union. If there's anything that you want to know about home equities, about mortgage loans, um, if there's help out there for you, well, he's the man, and we are so lucky to have him with us. I know we see him on Mondays with the stocks, but today, something a bit different. Thanks for joining us here. Thank you, Stephanie. So we have a lot to get through. I'm, you know, kind of going down the list, and we have auto loans and mortgage loans. I'm going to start off with auto loans, several of us going out there to buy a new car, especially to me before winter sometimes so you can have the best tires just something brand new what do you need to do as far as auto loans and where do you look well first of all for getting it an auto loan you want to check around who has the best rate and, and we're all pretty competitive from that, from that respect but you know one thing that we offer which I think is kind of neat we have something called an ass auto app mm -hmm. you can download that for free and you can uh, scan a VIN number on a car with this app and, and for free it'll give you the value of that particular car so that helps you in your process of determining, okay, now, is this a good price or not I'm paying for? So that's one thing that we offer as well, the Ask Auto app. And it's a good way to start. And then you can apply for your loan right there on your app as well from your mobile device. That is fantastic. I wish I would have had that. I know I purchased my car. It's been about eight months and really didn't have a price comparison, really didn't know what to ask. Right. So that would have been a great additive to have. It does it for me. you, and it's a free service. So, oh, that is fantastic. Anything else about auto loans that we need to keep in mind? Not really in as much as, you know, make sure you get the best rate by shopping around, and it does make a difference. Always, of course. Now, what about mortgage loans? Is it the same sort of, do you look at it the same way? Uh, kind of in a, in, in a certain respect. Number one, for mortgage loans, there's all kinds of mortgage loans out there, different types of opportunities, and different mortgages to fit the, the actual circumstance for the individual. We have conventional mortgages, for example, which is the standard 80, 20, put 20% down. Actually, you can get a conventional mortgage which is the lowest 5% down, um, but you have to pay private mortgage insurance. And then there's other programs too that's out there as well. And we all offer these type of programs. The FHA program, 3.5% down. VA program, 0% down, and these are all governmental programs that helps persons, maybe they don't, maybe they don't have as, as much in terms of for a down payment. Mm -hmm. This helps them get into those type of homes. Any other questions that we need to ask ourselves? I know if I, I don't own a home, but that we should ask ourselves before we go in. Exactly. Uh, my, the question I could ask a lot is, how can, can I afford this home or not? Well, how do I know? Okay, this is what you want to do. Take your gross monthly income, mm -hmm. take 20% of that, and that's the maximum payment that, that, that the bank would allow. Okay. So that gives you some idea as to, as to determine, okay, oh, this is how much I can afford for a payment. That seems uh, a bit easier than what I had anticipated. Yeah, so, like, we try to make it real simple and everything else. We, there's another type of mortgage loan that's out there most people don't know about. It's called the USDA loan. Okay. And what is it, USDA? But I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the same people that expect the meat products. Okay, they also have a mortgage program. So if you live outside of the urban area, they're, they, they have a, a mortgage program, up to 100% financing, um, it, and the same type of, basically the same type of rates as conventional mortgages. And you can get a loan that way as well. Well, as we're talking about loans, and if you don't mind me asking, what happens when you fall back on your loan? Okay, and if you miss a payment anyway, or two? Uh -huh. Okay, first of all, you want to call the bank first before they call you. That's always the best thing. And tell them what can you afford and see if they will work with you from there. That's the best way to do it. But be sure you be proactive. You talk to them first before they call you. And not to really get off of this, but that would really, I guess, work well with any sort of loan exactly. or if you have a credit card exactly. bill that you need to okay. That and matter of fact, we do have, have a program available for somebody that may have had a problem in the past we can get you financed with a score as low as 550. Really? Yes. And, that is, and that's coming back now. That's a new service we're able to, um, to put into place again. That's not all we do, but that, that is part of our portfolio. In case somebody has a problem, there's a place we can slide somebody as compared to the conventional and the governmental type of loans we talked about. Okay, so knowing um, that someone with a credit score that low, I know I'm not even going to guess where mine might be right now, but I know it's most likely low. Um, there is hope for us. Yes, there is. There are, there are avenues that can be approached. And talk to, talk to your banker and see what he can do for you. And um, there, there's different things that, that one can do when those type of circumstances arise. Okay, so do know you're not out there. You're not alone out you're there not. if you're feeling that stress. Um, now, what about home equities? Home equity loans. Okay, that's, 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 that's a nice product that we have, mm -hmm. as well as other institutions as well. And it, what we require, you know, it allows the individual to tap into the equity in their home mm -hmm. and um, maybe do some um, home remodeling with that or finance a child's education. A number of things that can be done with that equity in the home is there. You might as well use it as long as you do it judiciously. 
That's not a bad idea, not right. at all. And I hate to run through because I, I know we're running out of time. Mobile apps for deposit accounts. Yes, I'm very interested in yes. That. They're, they're handed app or on your mobile device. Matter of fact, we, uh, we have uh, the, uh, on our, our, with our mobile app, you can take a picture of the check front and back and deposit a check without even coming in seeing us. And that's a common feature too with banking. More and more common. Is there any danger with that particular app or anything that we should be concerned about? With apps on, on, on mobile devices, mm -hmm. um, they don't maintain any of your um, information, account information. So as soon as you do the transaction, all that is gone. Good to know right there. And of course, uh, member owned financial institutions? Yes, since 1940. Uh, yes, and we were talking about that quite a long time. Not only that, five stars. Five stars from Bauer Financial, the top rating that they give in terms of financial strength. And I do want to say congratulations on that. And what about some new programs that you might be offering? Well, we're, we're actually we're, we're looking at expanding maybe our, our checking account programs. So if you're interested in getting a checking account, totally free checking account, mm -hmm. we're offering that. So that's new. Contact us for more information. Fantastic. So definitely do so. And I do want to say, if you miss David Seeger on Monday mornings, he's here. You're here for a good few minutes with us, and we're always talking about stocks. Um, anything else you'd like to tell those or let the people out there watching right now in on? Actually, no, the market's uh, kind of bouncing around today, so we'll see the ups and downs of the market and we'll see what happens on, <laughs> and what we'll report on this Monday. We look forward to hearing that. So do join us on Monday. He's here for NBC24 Today with Angie. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank I you. appreciate that. We'll be right back after the break.